This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Okay, thank you very much and welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage where our players are warming up for today's big match because today, one of them's gonna have an opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. So players, you ready? Yeah. You all set? Okay, let's go play Starcade. Come on. Slide up here, Mike. There we go. Welcome. Nice to have you here on Starcade. Nice to have you all here. These are our contestants. Let's meet them right now. And your name is? Holly Cesara. Holly, how you doing? Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. You a good game player? No, I'm, I'm not used to games. You're not used to games? What are you doing here? I don't know. I just tried out because my friend asked me to. Well, you know, sometimes people come in, they're not used to games, and uh, they do very, very well. So we'll see what happens with you today, okay? Okay. All right. And you are? Michael Griggs. Mike, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, right now, I'm employed as a maintenance worker, but I'm also a musician, songwriter. Great. What do you play? I play guitar and keyboard instruments. I hope someday to walk into a concert and see you up there on the stage. Thanks. I hope so, too. All right. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of these people is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. Today, it is Cubert. Okay, shake hands. Holly and Mike, let's go, and we'll play Starcade. Here we go. And while they're getting set... We'll talk to Kevin and find out what five games he has in store for us today. Kev? Got a fine lineup of games for us today on Starcade, starting with Wild Western, a game of cowboys and Indians. On to Wacko, a zany world on tilt. Then it's on to Pengo, a saunter through an ice block field. Next is Zookeeper, a run to keep the animals caged. And finally, Burger Time, a race for buns. Jeff? Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot. Well, those are today's five games. Both of you, of course, had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. You pick it, and the first three games and a valuable prize is automatically yours. And Kevin right now is going to whisper the name of the mystery game to our home audience. Today's mystery game is Zookeeper. Okay, there it is. That's the name of the mystery game. Holly and Mike, I'm going to ask you a question. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly. You'll pick the first game we're going to play today. Here's a question, hands on buzzers. The first turn in pole position is A, a left-hand turn, B, a right-hand turn. Holly. A right-hand turn. Right-hand turn, yes, you're right, good for you. That's a nice start. You have the advantage now, and you get to pick the first game. Um, Wacko. Wacko, all right, that is a wacky game. You're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And uh, who better to tell us about Wacko than Kevin? In Wacko, you're Captain Cruiser, flying low in your saucer, taking on all kinds of strange creatures. Zap them in pairs and they disappear. Zap only one, and you create mutants that have to be changed back before they can be zapped out. Big creatures become little creatures, and little creatures can't be zapped until all the big ones are gone. It's you and your little cruiser in a world gone Wacko. Okay, Holly, you have Wacko, and you're going to have 50 seconds to play it. Uh, you, you know how to play the game, right? Yeah. Okay, remember, if you hit uh, an unmatched pair, they, they're going to turn into mutants, and you have to hit them again to straighten them out. Okay. Okay, that'll probably be in the second screen. And don't let your cruiser hit any of those creatures, okay? All right. All right, good luck to you. 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. There you go, doing fine. Good, all right. All right, doing great. Getting crowded now. Got it? 30 seconds. Get that other one. Get him. Yeah, right. Now, nah, two left. It's going to get tougher now. Whoa. Another cruiser coming up. That's okay. Doing great. 10 seconds. All right, Holly. <laughs> Do you have any trouble? No, but I try. It's hard when you get one, and then you have to go around the other one, and then you almost hit it. I know it. It's yeah. pretty a lot of tension, right? Yeah. All right, but you got three thousand points, and that's good. Oh, you head on back. Come on down here, Mike. 
Okay, it was her game. She picked Wacko. It's up to you to see if you can beat 3,000 points. So you know how to play the game okay? Yes, I do. All right, let's get right to it. You have 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. Oops. Don't let him touch the creature. Another cruiser coming up. All right. There you go, okay. Now it's gonna be a little more crowded. Coming down. About 25 seconds to go. Got him. There he is. Those two. Alright, now let's score some points here. 15 seconds. There you go. <laughs> it gets harder right about there. Uh, right about there. Yeah, all right. 2,100 points, so Mike, not bad. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back to see you guys to choose the next game here on Starcade. Stay with us. The grand prize today on Starcade is the video arcade game. Cubert. It's Cubert hopping into your heart as he hops about the cubes, changing colors and avoiding foes. Cubert, a bit nosy but a likable fellow from D. Gottlieb and Company. And now more Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Well, Holly and Michael, let's see where we are so far. We'll check the scores. Holly, you have a score so far of 3,000 right on the nose. Michael, you're sitting at 2,100. Okay, you have a little bit of catching up to do. Holly, you're in the lead, but there's still one more round, or rather one more game to be played in this round, and the total points scored on both games will determine who gets to play the Name the Game board. You all set for another question? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I have one for you. Hands on buzzers. Here's the question. When Popeye catches hearts tossed by olive oil, where do they go? A, into a big heart, or B, into a little house? Holly. Little house? Into a little house. Right you are. <laughs> You get the advantage again. You get to pick the game. The mystery game is still up there. Which game do you want? Uh, Zookeeper. Zook, that's the mystery game. <laughs> well, Holly, if you were listening before when we talked, you know that means you get a prize automatically, and Kevin will tell you what it is. Kev? It's Konica's new Disc 15, the world's first autofocus disc camera. Get sharp pictures from 14 inches to infinity automatically. The only disc camera on Earth with autofocus, Disc 15 by Konica. And now, Holly, you're going to play Zookeeper. You'll be the first to play. So if we can get Kevin out of his cage, he'll tell us how to play it. In Zookeeper, they give me almost nothing to work with, and I am only one man, but I do my best to keep the animals from wandering the streets. It's not an easy job to rebuild the cage because they are hungry and they keep chomping away at it. And only the net can help once they've escaped. And until that net appears, I can only run and jump over the animals to get points. And I can spend a moment with my sweet Zelda if I can reach her without falling or being zonked by a coconut. It's not an easy job being a zookeeper, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> sort of like being a game show host. <laughs> yes, well, isn't it amazing how Kevin can talk and hang by his tail at the same time? Yeah. yeah and that's something, that's really a feat. Okay, now Holly, you picked zookeeper. Just a couple of hints, and Mike, you want to listen to. Uh, grab those root beers when they pop up, and uh, just go as fast as you can around, and don't forget to hit the jump button. Okay? All right. All right, here we go. You'll have 50 seconds to play. Ready? Get set. Play. Here we go. Jump, good jump. That's the way to do it. Grab that roof here. Yeah, now you got it. All right. Got the net. Whoops. <laughs> you got it back in. On to the next one. Got about 30 seconds left. Doing fine. Snakes are tougher. Good jump. Almost got you. Be careful. All right. 15 seconds. Oops, got you. Another one coming up. That's all right. Hang in there. Seconds 
70 points. Okay, Holly, how do you feel? I don't know. I, I, it was a pretty, it was a pretty easy game, but I couldn't jump on time. I mean, that's <laughs> tough sometimes. Those snakes, particularly, right? Yeah. Are right, you head on back? Mike's gonna come on down. Come on, Mike. <laughs> Now, Mike, Holly uh, got caught a couple of times. If you can avoid uh, being caught by the animals and catch them yourself, you may catch up with you. I uh, hope so. All right. We have 50 seconds to go. Get ready. There's a jump button over there. Okay. Get ready. Get set. Play. Good jump. That's it. Group here. All right. That's the way to do it. Chip. Check the score. You have another round coming up. About 30 seconds left. All right. Look out. We we'll won't have a net showing up here in a minute. 20 seconds. You got the net. Good for you. Did you get that element? Yeah, you got him. Keep going, keep going, all right. Maybe you have a chance for a couple more points, let's see. Bonus racking up. 5,800 points, 5,800. You head back, Mike, we're gonna total up the score. It looks like we have a close game here, and we'll find out exactly where they are. Both of you are pretty good players, and both of you, of course, had a chance to play Wacko and Zookeeper. One of you now is gonna play for a special prize. So we're gonna total up the scores from both games and find out who gets to play the Name the Game board. Holly, you have a total so far of 6,070 points, pretty nice. Michael, you have 7,900 points. You took the lead over. Come on down here, Mike. Right over here. You're back to the board. That's it. Behind you, Mike, is the name the game board. Okay. Uh, am I pushing you too fast? You got no. time to relax a little bit? No. I'm okay. Right. I don't want to zoom you on before you're ready here. Behind you is a name the game board. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win a marvelous prize. So if you're all set to go, I am. Okay, let's go. Turn around up in the upper left-hand corner. You take a look. Is that Frenzy or Berserk? Berserk. No, sorry, it's Frenzy. They look a lot alike, but that is Frenzy. Too bad. Number two, is that Blaster Ship or Mazer Blazer? Mazer Blazer. Right, Mazer Blazer is right. Is that Space Duel or Gorf? Gorf. Gorf. Gorf is right, yes. And the last one, is that Congo Bongo or Coconuts to You? Congo Bongo. Congo Bongo is right. Okay, Mike. You didn't get all of them, but you got three out of four, and we give a prize for three out of four. Kevin, what is it? It's Sicey Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Sicey's provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player. Sicey's. Thank you, Kevin. That chess game is yours, Michael. All right, Holly beat you the first round. You caught up to her and beat her in the second round. We're going to be back in a minute to play the final round of Starcade and see whether it's you or Holly who has a chance to win your own video arcade game. We'll be back in just a moment. Here's the latest news from the Starcade Hotline. Video game technology is developing on several fronts. One of them is demonstrated by this game, Journey. The rock group Journey lent its name, its music, and even its faces to this game. Photographs of the five band members have been digitized into the game, and during the last game played, actual Journey music is the accompaniment. A big step from cute, cartoony characters and random sounds. Well, cute, cartoony, and random, that pretty well describes the host for Starcade. <laughs> Jeff Edwards. <laughs> okay, okay, welcome back to Starcade. Well, we have a close game here, a closer score. And Holly, you got the mystery game. Michael, you got the name the game board. So uh, both of you have some nice prizes. And now we're at round number two. This is the big challenge. There's only one game left to play. This time, only 40 seconds to play it. After that, we're going to total up all the scores. And the top score on all games is going to get a chance to win that Qbert over there, the video arcade game. So if you're ready, I have the last question for you. And this is an important question, because whoever answers this correctly is going to control the choice of the next game. Here's the question. Hands on buzzers. When the wolves capture the little pigs in Puyan, what do the pigs scream? A, help mom, or B, mama, mama? Michael. Mama, mama. No, sorry. It is A, help mom. Uh, help mom. That's what the little pigs squeal. And Holly, that puts you in control. Let's see what game you're going to pick. Uh, burger time. Burger time. Oh, I love that <laughs> game. That's a fun game. Kevin, tell us about burger time. 
Help Chef Peter Pepper build a burger, collect patties, cheese, lettuce, and of course, buns. For bonus points, catch the pursuing hot dog, egg, and pickle in the burger. And if you can't catch them, immobilize them briefly by shaking pepper their way. Complete a burger on the platter and feast on your success. It's burger time. Thank you. Our own hamburger told us all about that. <laughs> now, Holly, you need some points. You're behind a little bit. Let me give you a couple hints, and uh, Mike, you want to listen to this, too. You only have 40 seconds, so don't be afraid to use your peppers, all right? All right. All right. And if you can lure the, either the, the uh, hot dog or the pickle or the egg onto a bun and drop them, then you're going to get some extra bonus points. Okay. Okay, good luck to you. You have 40 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> there she goes. All right. Look out. Look out. Right. It's okay, another chef coming up. 25 seconds. Got to get some points. Come on, Holly. There you go. Now you're doing it. Look out, good pepper. Almost trapped the egg. Ah, oh, you trapped the hot dog. Good, that's good for a couple points. 10 seconds. One thousand nine hundred points. Okay, Holly. All right, little little trouble to start, but you did okay. Head on back, and here comes Mike. One thousand nine hundred points for Holly and Mike. All right, Michael. Well, you saw what Holly did up here, and uh, uh, you heard the hints I gave to her. Yeah, I heard all of them. Okay, same things apply to you. You have forty seconds, and we wish you good luck. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to use those peppers. You can use them up. You got four of them. Ready? Get set. Play. All right, they're after you. Whoops, be careful. Look out, look out. <laughs> 20 seconds. You're away from him now. Oh, almost got that one. Too bad. Ten seconds. <laughs> Pepper went the wrong direction. Look out. All right, 1,350. Go on back. Let's total up all the scores and see where we are right now. Both of you are tough competitors. I think we have a pretty close game. So let's find out, uh, total up the whole score and find out who today's winner is. Holly, you have a grand total of... 7,970. Congratulations to you, Holly. And Michael, you are sitting with a total of 9,250. Michael, you're the winner. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good. Holly, sorry you didn't win, but you have a nice gift mm -hmm. from us. And of course, you won the mystery game, right? Mm -hmm. You have a good time? Thank you. Good, it's nice to have had you here. And Michael, my friend, for being today's big winner, we have a special prize for you. Kevin? It's the Aquarius Compact from Mattel Electronics. A complete home computer system with a keyboard, a printer, a data recorder, and a memory expander. Packed together to perform together from Mattel Electronics. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. And now, uh, that's not all, of course. You've also won the right to play for our grand prize, your own video arcade game. It's Cubert. We'll do that right after these messages. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy, comfort, pistol grip, and trigger action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts, and from UMI, Word Feud, the competitive word search game that involves the whole family. It's irresistible fun for everyone. UMI software for family home entertainment, Word Feud from UMI. All right, welcome back to Star K. Well, champ, how you feeling? Good. good. Now it's a big challenge for you. This is a chance to win your own video arcade game. We still have two games left unplayed, as you know, Pango and Wild Western. During the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked Pango, you'd have to score at least 1,676 points. If you picked Wild Western, you'd have to score at least 498 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who play these same games. Now, you reached a decision, you picked Pango? Yes, I did. Pango it is. That means if you score... 1,676 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win Cubert. All right. All right, now while Kevin tells us about Pango, you and I get ready to go play, okay? Pango the penguin swaggers his way through an ice block field, avoiding the snow bees, crumbling the ice blocks in his way, and trying to line up the three diamond blocks for the big points. 
He can score extra points by freezing a bee against the wall, or crumbling the flashing blocks where the snow bee eggs are hatching. Or Pengo can stop a snow bee with an ice block. The whimsical Pengo, master of the ice. Okay, Kevin, thank you very much. Well, Michael, you got to score 1,676 points or more in 30 seconds. Not an easy task with Pengo. Not necessarily. This, yeah. this one can be tough. Okay, I would, I would not mess with the diamond blocks if I were you. Go to crush the flashing blo uh, blocks and uh, try to crush some of those snow bees. Probably the best way to do it in 30 seconds. What do you think? I think so. All right, we wish you good luck. We'd like to see you take Cubert home today. Thanks good luck to you, Mike. Turn around. You have 30 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. Looking for 1,676 points. Look out. Whoa. Whoops. Hey, you got one. Four hundred thirty. Fourteen seconds to go. Oh, oh I got you. Another one coming up. I don't think you're going to have time. No, 860 points. Too bad you ran into a little bit of trouble. That's a tough game. This is a pretty tough one if you can't get behind the blocks. Well, you've done really well here on uh, Starcade today. Nice to have met you. Michael, congratulations to you. This is Jeff Edwards on Starcade. See you on the next show. Until then, hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye bye. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.